Hello everybody, welcome to my first actual teacher tag that I'm posting. I have another one that's pre-recorded, that is the introverted teacher tag, and that one should be coming up soon, but I've already watched two of these. Um, one is Megan from Too Cool for Middle School, Middle School and the other one is um, from Teacher Inspiration Station, who I love, and she is in Toronto, so she's not very far from where I am, so that makes me so happy and so proud for another um, Canadian teacher to be on YouTube. Um, I wanted to do this really fun, um, it's actually called Fun in the Summer Teacher Tag, and I will be linking below everybody that's involved, and um, although I wasn't initially in the loop, maybe you're coming to me because somebody tagged me in it, and that would be lovely. So if you haven't already done so, please feel free to subscribe um, and hit the little notification bell. I'm really hoping to be including a lot more teacher videos now that the summer is around the corner. Uh, we still have one more week to go before school is done, but we are just having a blast in the last week, and there's just a whole bunch of different things. Whoops, that was my knee hitting the table. <laughs> um, I am going to do this quickly. I'm hoping I'm not talking too fast. Um, we are actually just going to head outside for a block party. We live on a court and it's very sweet, but we all get together once a year and have some festivities and it just so happens to be today. So um, while everybody else is out of the house, I, th I thought I'd take just a couple minutes of hoping. Okay, let's be real. It's not gonna be a couple minutes. Um, just to be able to do this teacher tag. So here we go. The first question is, what is your favorite thing about the summer? Literally my favorite thing about the summer is that the sun is out for longer and that we can be outside doing things for um, the bulk of the day. I don't like, I'm, as much as I'm a homebody and I love cleaning and organizing and I love that the summer gives me that opportunity, my Goal is to soak in as much of that sun as I can on the days that it's not too hot because I really don't like the heat. Um, and when it is super hot, we hop into, well, let's see if I can do this properly this time. We're going to hop into that back here. So that's going to be super exciting. Uh, we also just got a puppy, so we're going to be having some adventures with the little pup. What, sorry, how do you typically spend your summer days? Well, <laughs> Not to repeat what I just said, but we like to spend as much time outside as possible. If it's a day that is just too excruciatingly hot, because that does happen, um, it gets into the 40s very easily, 40s Celsius, um, which for people who are down in Southern California and in Florida and things like that, you're like, yeah, whatever, that's nothing. Like it's, I guess that's about 100 degrees or so Fahrenheit. Um, maybe a little bit less than that. It's it's not, we were not built for that <laughs> up here in Canada. So some people are, I'm not one of them. Um, and so, yeah, so on the days where it's too hot, I like to stay indoors. We'll play board games. We will clean and organize. Like I said, um, I love to do that kind of stuff. And we just, I just don't have that kind of time during the school year, unfortunately. So the break gives me that opportunity. What are your go-to summer activities and or places to visit? I love doing road trips. I love flying as well, but road trips are really fun. And so I'm not sure where we're going to go. The initial plans were to go back home to Montreal um, to visit. I was supposed to have a reunion. I don't know if the reunion is still happening or not. I've already paid into it, but we now have the pup. So I don't know if I'll be able to make it or not. Um... And we were also going to do a little bit of time in Ottawa, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that, but there's a lot of places around me um, within a few hours of a drive that are just absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. If you've never been to the Bruce Peninsula, I highly encourage you to. Um, and yeah, like it's, it's nice being in southwestern Ontario. There's a lot of things to do and a lot of places to see within a few hours of a drive, so we'll see. Stay tuned. Um, the next question is beach or swimming pool? I think a lot of people are going to disagree with me with this, but it's just my opinion. <laughs> swimming pool, 100%. Uh, I do not like to be in the sand very much. I'll do it once or twice in the summer, but, like, it won't be my idea. I'll go if my family wants to go, um, but I, I don't like 
being dirty. I don't like being in the sand. And I know it's not actually dirt, but in my mind, like the sand goes everywhere. I don't like that. Um, if we do go to the beach, actually the last time we went to the beach and spent significant time was when my husband and I were first married and we went with my in-laws and my brother and sister-in-law. And I spent probably the entire time reading. So that was nice. We were in under an umbrella, but outside of that, I really don't like the beach. I like how it looks. I don't like people in it. Um, what is your favorite ice cream flavor? Good old vanilla. What is your favorite summertime song? Give me some ideas. I have no idea. Um, favorite summertime movie? <laughs> we actually just started uh, watching Christmas movies again because we are that kind of family. And we're just about, what, six, seven months away from Christmas. So it's about time, don't you think? Um, I don't have a specific favorite movie for the summertime. I don't know. What are your Netflix summertime viewing plans? Which shows or movies do you plan to watch? I am going to be watching a lot of documentaries. I absolutely love documentaries. Sorry, the light keeps changing. The lighting keeps changing just because I think as I shift, it's trying to like find something to focus on and it's taking in the outside beautiful um, sunlight. Um, yeah, I really love documentaries and I keep discovering that as you dig a little bit further into Netflix and like type in things that wouldn't have automatically populated, that new things will populate as well. So if you have any suggestions for really good documentaries, I would love to see them. I especially like ones relating to mental health and lifestyle and cooking. Um, organizing is huge. If Marie Kondo comes out with another series, that is like the first one on my list. If you haven't seen that, oh my word, what are you waiting for? It's so therapeutic to watch that. It's so good. Which books are on your summertime reading list? Well, I am switching grade levels. I'm not going to say to what grade I'm switching just because it has not been officially announced to um, the students and parents for our community so I don't want to just jump in and do that I probably would get into a lot of trouble so I am switching grade levels and I would really like to um, read a bunch relating to that grade so that I can come up with some really good um, lesson plans for the fall and tying them into all the, the different subjects so um, what are your must-have essential items for this summer sunscreen sunglasses, lip gloss, my family, they're not things, but I need them, <laughs> um, and maybe a reusable mug or water bottle, and I'm good to go. Um, any teaching goals or projects you hope to accomplish over the summer? Well, I am finishing my last um, my last AQ course for this year, I'm going to do that for the summer and it's to teach it. It's, um, it's called teaching, teaching combined grades. I was going to say multiple grades cause that was another option, but, um, teaching combined grades and I'm taking it through ETFO, which is our union, um, the elementary teachers federation of Ontario. Um, I'm doing that for the first part of the summer and the rest of the time, like I said, like I'm just going to be focusing on um, reading up on, I haven't taught these particular grades in quite a few years. So I, I'm just going to be re like reading into the curriculum and working on maybe long range plans and that sort of thing. I love, love, I loved already my teaching partners, but this group of teaching partners, I'm very lucky, is very similar. They want to get together. They want to do some long range planning together over the summer. Like it's just love it. And I have to set up my new classroom. So, which has not been a classroom before. It was used as um, like an auxiliary um, space. Um, any professional development plans? Yes. So I am lucky, and I'm sure lots of boards are like this, that they offer a summer professional development session or set of sessions, and you pick the ones that you want to go to. It does cost money, but for what you are getting especially if you really want to learn about those specific areas or become familiar again with those specific areas if you've been out of it for a while it's so worth it 
um, it's really not that much and it comes out of your pay. So you're really, it's not like you have to fork out any kind of quantity or anything like that off the bat. I am going to be reviewing and looking again at Google Classroom. Um, I've used Google Classroom before and it was fantastic, but haven't used it in a while because I've been using other things to keep online portfolios for my students and all that kind of thing. So I would like to go through that again. And one of the sessions actually is to do Google Classroom and use Google Classroom apps for um, math. So that's going to be exciting. When do you start preparing to go back to school? When is your first day back? So we go back um, all of Ontario goes back the first day after Labor Day weekend in September. The week prior, um, we are required to be at school. I can't remember if it's for the entire week. You'd think that I would know, having done this for a while. Um, I can't recall if it's the entire last week of school or entire last week of summer, which is the last week of August, so that you are required to be in the building, or if it's just the last three days. Um, I'm going to find that out because I'm going to make sure that I'm there, but that is, uh, that is a requirement. Like you can't just be like, yeah, sorry, I'm traveling. It's not going to be there. Like it's, we're paid year round. Um, you can't just decide not to be there. Um, there's some people that are, I believe Megan Forbes was talking about it. Um, so her channel is too cool for middle school. And she was talking about it um, specifically about how she's on a 11 month contract. And there are some people on a 10 month contract where they are only paid for those months. And then they're, they have no pay in between what it is for permanent teachers in at least our board. I don't know if it's different in other school boards. I should ask my friends. I have um, a few friends that teach for the um, Ottawa Carleton district school board that we are paid year round. So whatever, whatever you would have made in the course of 10 months is spread out. So we're paid year round and it's not like I can just be like, yeah, sorry, peace out. I'm, I'm not going to be there. <laughs> I'm not coming back until the first day in September or the first day in September. Um, describe your perfect summer day. My perfect summer day would be the sun shining bright, sky totally blue, um, somewhere around like 20 between 20 and 22 degrees celsius a cool breeze coming by and spending the entire day out at a zoo going to museums um hanging out maybe at, in some, at some like patio cafes or restaurants or anything like that just spending a whole day with my family in beautiful beautiful weather you can't really ask for anything better Three words to describe summer. Restful, necessary, and enjoyable. That's it. That's the whole teacher tag. So if you would like to do the same teacher tag, you can check out the link, not the link, you can check out the box below. And um, if you expand it out, it will show you all the questions that I did and all the people who are in this tag with me. So if you are visiting from a different channel, just keep going down the list. You can check out more people. And if you've come to me from somebody else, um, be sure to link them below. Let me know who sent you over here so I can give them a big thank you. Okay, have a great day. Bye. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to another, no well not another, the first I guess on this channel, teacher tag. Um, I have another one already pre-recorded that was done a significant amount of time ago and that I believe is like the second or third week, third week, fourth week, sometime in August. I have it written on the calendar. <laughs> I believe Megan Forbes was talking about this um, from teacher, oh, teachers, teachers. Megan Forbes was talking about this from um, Too Cool for, for Middle School. Why is that so hard for me to say?